Hi, got a few minutes? This video scribe summarizes some, but not all, of the key issues in the topic on measurement. Why bother measuring anything? As accountants, measurement is what we get paid for. It's not easy, that's why we get paid the big bucks. But measurement is important. It provides information that helps individuals make decisions. Through the processes of accounting, we can use individual measures of assets and liabilities to determine revenues, expense, profit. All that comes together in financial position and performance. So to summarize, measurement is important to make decisions, assess performance and position, compare performance across time, compare organizations. But it's not straightforward. There are a number of different methods that we might use to measure different attributes of the assets and liabilities. And just to keep it simple, we'll just talk about assets. So the different ways that we might measure are historical cost, what we paid for the asset, or we might measure the current cost to replace the asset, or the fair value, which is what we would get if we sold the asset. Or perhaps we might measure the net present value of the future cash flows from the asset. We'll focus on historical cost and market values because historical cost has been the most common for some time and market values, particularly fair value, is the direction that the accounting regulators are moving. But how to choose a method? It helps to have an asset in mind when you consider the challenges and benefits of the alternative measurement approaches. We also need to step back and see the big picture. This is a normative question, and so we should apply logic to determine which method best achieves our objective. So the first question is, what is the purpose of accounting? The answer? To provide information that allows external stakeholders to make decisions about which organization should receive their scarce resources. So users are external, and they need information to compare the financial performance of organizations. But what qualitative characteristics, then, are necessary for information to achieve that objective? Accounting information should be relevant, it should be reliable, or in other words, it should faithfully represent the economic reality. It should be understandable, and it should be comparable. We might also argue that accounting information needs to be verifiable. So think about a particular asset. Think about the historical cost, the current replacement cost, or the fair value of that asset. Is that information relevant, reliable, understandable, comparable, verifiable? Then think about other assets. What about accounts receivable? Motor vehicles, computers, land, buildings, financial instruments, intangibles. Consider the difficulty in coming up with a fair value or a replacement cost or even an historical cost for some of those assets. So if it's just too hard, does that mean that we ignore the asset just because we can't measure it? But the alternative is to have different measures on our financial statements. And if we take different measurement approaches, then we're adding historical cost and current replacement cost, net realizable value, present value together so that when we have the sum, how do you interpret it? Five oranges and three apples is neither eight oranges nor eight apples. It's a fruit salad. The sum of historical cost, net present value, current replacement cost, is neither what we paid for the assets, what it would cost to replace the assets, nor what we would receive if we sold the assets. This is known as the additivity problem. I hope you found this video scribe to be a useful summary of some of the issues associated with measurement. It's a very difficult issue that has kept accounting regulators stumped for decades, so there's no easy or correct answer. What's important is that you recognize the benefits and problems associated with the different ways to measure assets and liabilities. This video scribe is intended to remind you of the things you learned in the textbook, lecture, and tutorial. You should return to those sources to clarify anything that's unclear. Hi.